This video will introduce you to concentration problems and go through an example of finding the mass of a substance required to prepare a solution with a given molar concentration. There are various ways that chemists use to express the concentrations of solutions. By far, the most widely used quantity is molar concentration, also called molarity. Molar concentration is defined as moles of solute per liter of solution. Notice that's liters of total solution and not just liters of solvent. The units used for molar concentration are molarity, which is a non-italicized capital M, or moles per liter. A general equation used to determine molar concentration is C equals N over V, where C is the molar concentration in molarity, or moles per liter, N is the number of moles, and V is the volume in liters. If the volume of a given solution is expressed in units other than liters, it needs to be converted to liters to use in this equation. The equation can be rearranged to solve for concentration, number of moles, or volume. When solving for concentration, the equation is C equals N over V. To solve it for number of moles, N, just cross multiply the C and the V. And we get N equals C times V. In order to solve for V, divide both sides of the equation by C, which gives us V equals N over C. A handy mnemonic for obtaining all three equations is to write N over CV like this. To find the equation for C, just put your hand over the C and you're left with N over V. So the equation is C equals N over V. To solve for N, put your hand on the N and you're left with C times V. So N equals C times V. And to solve for V, put your hand on the V and you're left with N over C. So V equals N over C. Here's an example of a problem that uses the concentration formula. The compound oxalic acid dihydrate is used to prepare solutions of oxalic acid used as a reagent in analytical chemistry. What mass of H2C2O4.2H2O is required to prepare 800 milliliters of a 0.2 molar oxalic acid solution? We should note here that when one mole of oxalic acid dihydrate, H2C2O4.2H2O, dissolves in water, it produces one mole of oxalic acid, H2C2O4. So the moles of oxalic acid and oxalic acid dihydrate are used interchangeably in this example. But when calculating the mass of the compound required, the actual solid used is oxalic acid dihydrate. So that is specified when referring to mass. We'll start by creating a plan. We're given the molar concentration of oxalic acid. So we'll write C oxalic acid here for concentration. We're also given the volume of oxalic acid solution. So we'll write V oxalic acid here. We can use the equation N equals C times V to calculate N, the moles of oxalic acid required. Once we have the moles, we can then find the mass of the oxalic acid dihydrate we need to start with. So our first step is to use the concentration and volume to find the number of moles N. So we write N equals C times V, or N oxalic acid is equal to C oxalic acid times V oxalic acid. We'll substitute 0.2 molar for the concentration. Here it's best to express it as moles per liter instead of the capital M for molarity. The two ways are equivalent and the unit moles per liter works better for canceling units. The volume of the solution is 800 milliliters, so we'll write that here. Notice that we have liters here, but milliliters for our volume. So we cannot cancel these units the way they are. We need to convert 800 milliliters to liters. We do this by multiplying by the conversion factor 1 liter to 1000 milliliters. Now we can cancel the liters and the milliliters. And we're left with the unit moles, which we'll use for our answer. So we'll write it down here. We go 0.2 times 800 divided by 1,000, which gives us 0 0.1600 moles. Notice that none of our data contains any less than four significant figures, so we express the 0.16 to four significant figures. 
And we'll make a note up here that the moles of oxalic acid dihydrate required is 0 0.1600 moles. The second step in this problem is to convert moles of oxalic acid dihydrate to mass in grams. We can say that the mass of oxalic acid dihydrate, M, is equal to N oxalic acid dihydrate, which is the moles of oxalic acid dihydrate, times the molar mass of oxalic acid dihydrate. Molar mass is often depicted by an italicized capital M. And the units of molar mass are grams per mole. So if we multiply these together, the moles cancel out. And we're left with the unit grams, which is the unit for mass. So we substitute 0.16 moles in for N oxalic acid dihydrate and multiply by the molar mass of oxalic acid dihydrate which is 126.08 grams per mole. If you wish, pause the video and convince yourself that 126.08 is the correct molar mass of this compound. We can cancel out the unit moles of oxalic acid dihydrate and we're left with grams. So grams of oxalic acid dihydrate is the unit for our answer and we can write it here. To calculate the answer, we go 0.16 times 126.08 and we get 20.17 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate. So now we can state the final answer. In order to prepare 800 milliliters of 0.2 molar oxalic acid solution, one would need to start with 20.17 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate, H2C2O4.2H2O.